Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to use hierarchical schema in Informatica Cloud. So in hierarchical schema, there are two types, hierarchical parser and hierarchical builder. So hierarchical schema defines the structure of the file that a hierarchy parser transformation convert into relational output. If the input pass to the hierarchy parser and the hierarchical schema associated with it does not match, the data cannot be converted as expected. So in Informatica Cloud supports reading JSON and XML files with the help of hierarchical parser. So in hierarchical builder transformation, it converts the relational input into the hierarchical output and it also converts the data based on a schema that defines the hierarchical structure of the output. Uh, for example, Avro, JSON, ORC, Parquet or the XML format. So let's understand this with the help of example. We will see both the example of the hierarchical parser and the schema uh, and the builder. So first we will try for the parser. So in hierarchical parser, I have downloaded one JSON file. So let me show you. This is a sample JSON file. You can see this is the object and this is the column names. First name, last name, gender, age. Okay. And one more file I have created that is the list file. So wherever uh, our sample fly, file is there, we have to mention the path in this file. So simply I have mentioned the file, file path here, which we have to take into the source. save this so before that we have to before we are taking the hierarchical parser we have to create the hierarchical schema here we'll select that json file sample json file validate it it is validated save this Hierarchical parser for JSON. It will read the JSON file. Save this. Now in mapping, we will take the hierarchy parser. Here you can see there are two types, input types, buffer and file. If you want to read one file, then you can go with the buffer. And when the JSON and XML data is in incoming source column, then you can go with the buffer. And if it is in file, then you can go with file. You can see in full field selection, nothing is there. This is disconnected. We will connect this. Now it is showing the file part. We'll do the field mapping here. Here you can see my object name and my column name here. So we'll do the Descendants, save this. So here we will create the runtime environment, sorry, runtime target.
so mapping is valid let's run this mapping So you can see here three records are affected into my target so let's see in target So you can see here the JSON file is converted into the table format. So in this way it will convert or we can use the JSON uh, JSON file it will read. Same it will read the uh, XML file as well. Same if you have the XML then you can uh, use the same way and you can try to convert it into the relational database or into file format. So we'll see the uh, hierarchical builder here which convert the relational input into the JSON format or the XML format. So let's try. Here only we will create. We'll take the hierarchical builder, hierarchy builder. before that we have to create one hierarchy builder component we'll take this sample one json file relational to JSON format save this let me show you that sample file this is the sample file like fruit size and color is my intent it means column name now it will convert into the relation or the flat file here we will take this source as a relational So I have created the fruit table, same as a sample file we have. So I have took that identity name. So in output setting, we'll select that hierarchical schema. So you can see in our uh, source there are fruit, fruit size and color. This is the relational database and here you can see the sample file. Now it will convert this relational table into the sample JSON file or the JSON file. We will create here same runtime target. Just save this mapping. If it is valid. Let's run.
run this mapping it is failing why it is failing Failure is output file of informative. Okay, file is open here. Now we will retry, restart. Now you can see file is mapping is run successfully with two affected rows. So let me show you this is my source table. We'll check this in the target. So you can see here it is converted into the JSON format. Let me open into the notepad. So here you can see the, our relational input is converted into the JSON file uh, format output. So in this way you can use the hierarchy parser and hierarchy builder in the hierarchy schema. If you feel this video is informative please like share and comment subscribe my video. Thank you.